Well, hello, Christ community. It's great to see you. My name is Tyler. I'm one of the pastors at our downtown campus, and I am here with literally one of my best friends on staff, uh, Jeannie Lucas, our creative director, no, communications director, yep, director but also communication. functionally, I would say, lead the way in creativity. <laughs> well, I um, get to lead, at Christ I community get to broadly. Well, yeah, agree to it's disagree. Uh, love working with Jeannie. We get to work together a lot. So you might know uh, at the downtown campus, I do a lot of work with our art gallery, um, but then here at the multi-site office on multi-site Mondays when all the pastors are here and then throughout the week, Jeannie and I get to do a lot of fun stuff together related to broader Christ community communications, uh, creative elements, what's on our screen, what's Events, happening in video. Projects, right. Yeah, all the special Sermon stuff. Series, all of those fun things. And it's yep. a blast. Yep. I mean, we, uh, we have a whole playground. I know there's the whole communications team uh, that helps as well. But Jeannie, I think... And correct me if I'm wrong, but you've been in your role about as long as I've been in mine. Is about it about three, three and a half years? years? Yeah, yes, 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 sure. Years. So, I mean, I know I came here through the residency. Love that we do that. But what brought you into like communications director role at Christ Community? How did yeah? How did you get here? Yeah, good question. Uh, so I yeah, I've been around Christ Community for 17 years, and the majority of that time, certainly volunteering with stuff, helping with video, and uh, even doing. Gosh, as far as contract work, uh, helping with the website. Um, my background is in communications. Um, I had my own business for 20 years, and then um, uh, someone on staff came to me and they were making some changes here and uh, realized that so many churches now are really needing someone to focus on communications and needing that person in place to be a director of communications. So they came and said, hey, are you interested? And I said, well, gosh, uh, let me think about that. Let me pray about that. <laughs> anyway, so here I am um, on staff. Uh, so having been in the corporate world and certainly uh, on my own for, you know, 20 plus years. And um, I have to say, and gosh, until my boss this, but uh, I have the best job here. And <laughs> I always think that and I always say that um, to other people, not to my boss, not to, him, right, yeah. not to Mark. Um, but yeah, because of what I get to do and because I get to work with every campus and I get to meet people yeah. at every campus, uh, to me, that's uh, one of the best things about my job. So, yeah. Well, it is. Great and stuff. I know I love working with you so much because we bring some similar maybe base assumptions, background experience to this world. Because again, before I came to Christ Community, it was working with Campus Crusade and big conference production. Right. But skills I learned there, both broadly about communications, print materials, deadlines, mm -hmm. I mean, so some tactical stuff that I know we click on, but also even big picture about, hey, it's through these avenues of communication that the message of Jesus gets to go out as well. So sure, I love you know, as a pastor, I love Sunday mornings, I love sermons, but man, our print material, our online presence, um, our Facebook pages, our Instagram accounts, whatever mm -hmm. it might be, are also avenues of communication uh, through which people can be reached, yeah, and encouraged and mm -hmm. find the message of Jesus midweek as they're scrolling their Instagram feed right. or something. So I know that we are uh, very much on the same page there, mm -hmm. and I, I mean, I absolutely love that. I think it's why we, we get along so well, but uh, you've mentioned, so you have kind of this background in the creative world. You had your own business doing creative things, communication stuff. Uh, what have you learned being in kind of creative world, creative work world, uh, and connecting that with our message just yesterday uh, on Sunday about God being our creator God who invites us to join him in creativity? Mm -hmm. I mean, and I imagine you've thought a lot about creativity in general, our creative work as humans. What's maybe a lesson you've learned kind of living in this creative space um, about creating or creating in light of God as our creator? Yeah. Hmm. Well, let me start with, um, I, I know Tom used this quote, and I think, yeah. I'm sure, I think Olathe used this quote too, but it's the Nancy Percy quote. I'm going to go ahead and read it because sure. it's, it's just so good. Uh, our vocation is not something we do for God, which would put the burden on us to perform and achieve. Instead, it is a way we participate in God's work. For God himself is engaged not only in the work of salvation, but also in the work of preserving and maintaining his creation. And so then from there, we come from this question, uh, do you see your work, uh, how do you see your work as an opportunity to join God? You know, and there's so many things we do here, it, you know, it makes sense. We're communicating, you know, through slides or whatever, and that feels like, you know, I work at a church, that's how I'm joining God. Um, but I also have to remember that sometimes uh, I come from the graphic design world, and especially when I was young, 
Uh, this was a lesson, I, it was a hard learned lesson, and I see a, a lot of young people uh, in this field that have the same thing. The, the means becomes the sort of the end, you know, that, that design piece needs to be mine. Hmm. And if somebody pours into it, then it doesn't feel somehow like it's mine, and we sort of miss that piece of collaboration. Um, I know we, collaboration is a high value here at Christ Community. Um, you know, maybe sometimes to an extreme, but you know, it's so important to be able to have someone pour into it because otherwise that, whatever that is, starts becoming, you You start creating an identity sort of around that and that piece becomes your identity and then suddenly if somebody attacks that piece, yeah. right? And that's probably really hard for artists because they are so independent and it is that thing and someone might critique that piece and then suddenly they're, it's almost like they're attacking your character, yeah. right? They're tearing you down um, or if they build it up, you know, somehow you, you, it's like, are you joining God? Are you trying to be God mm. by creating that thing? So, I mean, that is one, like I said, one of the best things about my job is I, I get to create every day, whether it's a video or a slide or a visual thing or this, or I get to help with that, all of that. But I also try not to make it just mine. And again, this is something I had to learn, you know, over a long period of time. Um, because the relationship, if I have to look at it, the relationship and how I work with people is more important than that piece of art. Sure. Um, because if we don't have a, you know, a good piece to work, you know, a good work environment here, um, then I also have been watching uh, what is it? America's Got Talent. Okay. The Champions. Oh, I mean, I love right? reality so, TV. Uh, yeah. yeah, so this is, you <laughs> know, a much. family thing. We sit around and sure. we're watching this. Sure, and we had sure. 30 people get on, right? And they're, I, it's everything. It's knife throwing and it's card tricks and it's magicians and it's i mean some things that are just cringe like i know somebody was had a knife thing Those down there oh my swallowers. gosh there were some yeah. things that i just you know heidi loves them on the show but i can't <laughs> stand them you know i have to turn away but um there was a lady on there for instance and she was like doing sand art uh, the most interesting and beautiful thing i have ever seen Probably not going to win because she's not a singer, and singers often they win. Always, although, yeah. spoiler alert, they don't actually win on this one. Um, <laughs> but you know, there are so many things that they're doing. But then they do these interviews with them backstage, and um, you know, they're talking about, hey, you know, you what did you come in on yours? Well, I came in second, and you know, if I don't win at this one, I'm really going to go away feeling like a loser. Mm. And all mm. I could think was. Oh my gosh, you are the best in the world at what you're doing, yep. or you are the top two percent, or you're the top whatever. Sure. And because they weren't that top top one percent, mm. they felt such an attack on their character yeah. that they did. They felt like a failure. And I thought that to me is is the saddest part of the whole thing. Yeah. But here we have these winners. They're all winners. Totally. And you know, totally. Simon's done this 180 where he's now like a champion of everybody, <laughs> uh, which I love. You know, because when he was hard on him, that uh, didn't work uh, either. But you know. Yeah. Um, we want to encourage people and we want to critique them appropriately, um, but when it becomes an attack on their character and they can't, you know, I just feel bad for even the kids and stuff. They're like, I have to win or I'm going to be nothing. That's not true. Yeah. You yeah. know, made in the image of God. We, well, yeah. And I love that because one of my biggest takeaways, both preparing to preach yesterday's sermon, but then even thinking when you're sharing some of your experience in creative world, it gets me thinking of my own. Uh, I used to write a lot of scripts for crew and it was the same way where it's like this is my script it expresses my unique creative genius don't touch it don't change it and there was so much of like a man tyler what are you trying you know you just want people to applaud you or say thumbs up to you like it's worth it to have collaborators and i mean the big idea to me again reading the text preparing for yesterday's sermon was if God's already invited us to be a collaborator with him, which is what I see happening in that text, right? I'm the greatest creator of all time. You now join me in creating other work. It's like, well, I already have one collaborator. It's God who's given me creative talent. Why wouldn't I have more? Why wouldn't we work together? And why wouldn't we, in the same way that I think it's just brilliant and self-effacing for God to say, you create now, you improve my creation. Why wouldn't we do that with other image bearers? Mm -hmm. And instead, it just seems like such a, a sign of the fall to me or our human brokenness, that competition and creativity go so much in hand. Yeah. You know, where it's like, well, is my design better than yours? Is this, did this one out, my idea went out at the end of the day? Um, and it's like, man, I do think the broader scriptural invitation is one of so much 
productivity and generativity and creativity that's a little less me, 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 let me assert my thing yeah. and more, hey, look what we've made together with our God over all of it, right? right? I mean, the ultimate person with whom we're joining and doing good creative work together. Yeah, and someone else's view of it is different from yours. That doesn't make theirs right or yours right. Right. So, you know, being able to um, celebrate what they're doing and how they do it, although it's different from what you might do. I so, know. Yeah. Well, and I think that celebration piece too, celebrating other folks' creativity. Again, you only get so much time in a sermon. I had to cut mine off yep. yesterday, but that is such a great, another great application I could see from this Genesis text. Mm -hmm. I mean, if God's given us all an invitation to join him in his creative work, certainly, yes, how are, you, how are we joining him in that? I know that's where a lot of us preachers landed with an application, but I could see another application so connected with that being how are you applauding the creative work that other folks are doing? And because we've all been invited. You. Yeah, right? Because we've all been invited to do it. I can recognize that as good and applaud it. I can join what they're doing. They can join what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, yeah, I could see that being another huge implication. Yep. Uh, I, I'm a much better artist when someone else pours in or I'm able to look at someone else and learn something from what yeah. they've done. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I hope those extra thoughts are helpful to you. Again, I am just so glad that you get to see who's behind the camera ah. so often uh, in front of the camera and someone who I think, I mean, sincerely, you know I think this, Jeannie, a critical part of our team at Christ Community uh, for helping us be sharper, better, not put our foot in our mouths, creative, I mean, all those things. Um, you are core, core, core well, it's to the great mission team. here. We've got yeah, a great it team. It really is. So. And so I'm glad that you all get to meet Jeannie um, and it's fun to chat a little bit more about this Genesis text with all of you. It's been great. Thanks.